Programmers do kung fu fighting To ride good fast as lightning Hello and be welcome to another episode of Let's Develop Code Cutter. Today we're going to perform a rather simple cutter which is called Prime Factor. This cutter is one of Uncle Bob's who claims to have found this one while working with his uh, little son who came home from school and uh, learned that every um, non-prime number is actually factorizable by prime numbers and um, Uncle Bob developed a small program that computed these prime factors for any positive number and found out that this is actually quite an interesting implementation case, so he uh, turned it into kata. Um, just as a quick reminder, by definition a prime number is a number bigger than one that is dividable only by one and itself. Um, yeah, and we're supposed to develop a small piece of code, so probably only one method or function, um, that will, given any positive number, compute the prime factors of this number. Okay, and with this, let's get started. I'm going to create a test class first, which I call prime factors test, and I'm going to place that one in um, let's developer kata prime factors. Create it. Very nice. Let's write our first test. Public void one has no prime factors. As I just said, prime factor is a number, uh, or a prime is a number bigger than one as one is by definition not bigger than one, it has no prime factors. Um, so assert equals, I want to um, compute like um, a list of all the prime factors. So my expectation here is the empty list for number of one and then I want to have a class called prime factors. I'm going to use um, more unit here to quickly create the prime factors class. That's it already. Switch back prime factors dot compute factors for one. This method doesn't exist. So I quickly factored in here. Return value is a list of integers. Um, switch back, that works. No, it doesn't because I'm missing a semicolon here and I have to import that method. And then I can run the test for the first time and see that the test fails because I'm expecting the empty list but returning actually null. I guess that's quite easy to fix. Say new Java util array list of integer. Thank you. Re-execute, test is working, so I can refactor, delete that comment line, and I like to call that n for number. That's it, test still running. Let's go for the next test. So public, lick, void, I'm not able to spell public today, um, two, has only itself as a prime factor, right? Because two is actually the first prime. Equals how to create a list. Probably the easiest thing is to use arrays as list um, of only the value two is prime factors compute for two. That's compiling, but it's not working. So let's make this uh, possible. This is the factors. And in case n is bigger than one, I'm going to add factors at two, right? That's sufficient. Yes, it is. 
go back to the test. Actually, I would like to streamline this a bit. Um, add a static import, import static Java util arrays as list. So I can use it here directly without the arrays prefix. And I would actually like to use it here as well, just for the tests to be more, uh, more similar. Re-execute the test, still working. Yeah, I'm content with that. So let's write the next test. Test public void three has only itself as a prime factor because three is in fact the next prime. Assert equals as list three is prime factors compute factor for three. That's not working because we're currently returning two instead of three. Um, how can we fix that? Let's just return n here, right? That should be sufficient. Yes, it is. Anything to refactor? Don't think so. Go back to the test. Test looks fine. So let's write the next one. Test public void four has two times two as prime factors, right? So assert equals equals as list two two prime factors compute factors of four. Re-execute that doesn't work because we're returning actually four and not two, right? So switch here. What do we have to do? We're in the case where n is bigger than one. So if n is dividable by two, so in this case, I'm going to say factors at, no, not at all, at two. And then I'm going to say n is n divided by two. And that will not work, right? Because two now has two and one as a prime factor. So I have to recheck here that n is still bigger than one. Re-execute all the tests running. This is getting a little ugly, but I guess for now I will keep it and go back to our tests. Say test public void. Next number five has only itself as a prime factor because five is the next prime. Assert equals, maybe I learned to type equals by the way uh, on the go as list five prime factors compute for five um, re-execute that actually works nice next one public void six has two and three as prime factors there's an E missing. Um, assert equals as list two, three prime factors compute four, six. Re execute that one. And it's actually working. That's nice. Next one public void seven is the next prime. So I'm going to skip that. Um, I'm sure that's working. So let's go for eight. Eight has actually three times two, right? Three times two as prime factors. Assert equals as list two, two, two. Prime factors compute eight. Re execute doesn't work. Okay, so go over here. What do we have to change? Actually, that's pretty simple, right? I turn that into a loop. Re execute. Yeah, I got it. That was a simple fix. Okay, back to the tests. 
Let's write the next one. Public void 9 has 2 times 3 as prime factors. Factors. This way, assert equals as list 3, 3. Prime factors compute factors of 9. Re execute that. Okay, so this test is failing again. So if you do something, what do we have to do? So thing is, I'm currently only using two here to check uh, if a prime factor is included, but probably I want to lift that to other values as well. So two and three and then five and whatever. So first thing I'm going to do is factor out this two here actually into a local variable called candidate. And since the eclipse factoring is quite intelligent, it also replaced the two occurrences down here, which is quite nice. Re-execute the test should still be the new one, nine failing, everything else still working nice. Okay, so now let's move this around a bit. Um, because actually I want to re-execute this here for increasing candidates. So I pull this out and I pull this out. Is that working? Yes. Pull this out and I turn this here into a loop with increasing candidate, right? Plus plus down here. Stat, that's working. Nice, that was pretty easy. Okay, so next thing I want to do is a cleanup session. So the condition for the loop is n bigger, to, bigger than one, which means that this condition can never be true. So I should be able to just throw that out without breaking any tests. This is right. Um, and then actually, I have stuff here that looks like for loops, right? So we have the candidate, which is somehow used for the loop in here and uh, increased here. That's that's like a for loop pattern. So let's try to compute, uh, turn this into a for loop. Initializer is this one here. Condition is that one and size is increased in the update here. Re-execute, still working, nice. And now we have something uh, not exactly sim uh, the same, but similar in the inner loop because we have an update down here, which we can turn into a loop without an initializer with the condition we already have and then move the update here to the updater, right? Yes, test is still running. We actually have a three line, if we include the, the braces, uh, my, maybe a five line implementation, which should work for all the prime numbers, I guess. Let me have a quick thought about it. Is there something more interesting in the values to come? Uh, for, for the sake of trying it out, let's add a test for 10. 10 has actually 2 and 5, right? As prime factors. But I'm pretty confident that this actually works as lists 2, 5 prime factors compute of 10. Re-execute the tests, still working. Yeah, as I predicted, I guess that's it. The algorithm itself is quite short as Uncle Bob found out too. And the test code is a bit lengthier, um, could be shortened in other languages if I, if I would have something like test cases because all the tests actually look the same. It's a list and a number as input. But I'm going to stay with this for now um, that's a cutter. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching anyways. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If not, uh, drop me a message, uh, send me a comment, no the other way around. 
uh, drop me a comment, send me a message, let me know what you think um, in case of feedback. And I hope to see you next time. Programmers do kung fu fighting. To ride good fast as lightning.